Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add a glowing effect to your 2D sprites, and this will work especially well when using the experimental 2D renderer of the Universal Render Pipeline. Now before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you can be notified whenever I publish new videos. Alright, so in order to add a glow effect to your 2D sprites, you're going to need to have some sort of sprite or sprite sheet that you're working on. For me, I'm going to add this glow effect to my werewolf monster, from my campfire game that I'm working on. And the werewolf only has its eyes that are going to be glowing. And so with my sprite sheet opened up inside Photoshop, I'm gonna use the select color range option to select its yellow eyes. Now my werewolf sprites already have somewhat of a glow to the yellow eyes, but for Unity, we wanna have the glowing eyes on a separate layer and we wanna make them white so that we can change the color to whatever we want inside of Unity. So I'm gonna to have to go through all these sprites and I'll use the lasso tool to deselect any part of the bloom around the eyes. I just wanna select the eyes themselves. Now I could have skipped this step if I had turned off or turned down the emission settings in Blender before I rendered out these sprites, but that was before I decided to make the glow a separate layer. Now once I have only the eye selected of all of these different sprites, we're going to copy the selection and paste it in on a new layer. I'll then use the hue and saturation option, and I'll set the lightness to 100, making the color white. Now to make sure that I only have the eyes selected, I'll hold down control and I'll click the image of the layer I'm working on. This will select around only what's been painted on this layer after which I can use the select modify options to expand and feather the selection to give the eyes a bloom effect. And using the paint bucket tool, I'll fill in the selection with white. And I'll play around with this until I find what I like. Now once I've settled on the amount of bloom I want to have for the werewolf's eyes, I'll disable all the sprites for the werewolf itself and only leave the eyes. We can then save this image as a PNG in our Unity project, and I'll just call it Werewolf Eyes. Now inside Unity, I'll select my new sprite sheet, and I'll set the import settings to the same that I have for my werewolf, and then I'll go to the sprite editor, and using the slice drop-down menu, I'll select grid by cell size, and I'll set the size, offset, and padding to the same that I'm using for the werewolf itself. The only difference I'm using is I'm selecting the keep empty space rect option. This will create blink sprites for when the werewolf's facing away and you can't see its eyes. But it'll give me the same amount of sprites as I have for my werewolf. I'll then save the sprite editor, and now with my character prefab selected, I'll duplicate the werewolf object, and I'll make the new object a child of the first. I'll then go through all the animations for my character and apply these eye glow sprites to this new object and have it match up with the werewolf's animations. Now after I've finished setting up all the animations, I want to have the eye sprites unlit. And the Universal Render Pipeline has a default unlit shader, but it's for 3D meshes. And the main reason why it won't work for 2D sprites is that it doesn't have a transparency option. And so I'm going to create my own shader graph for this to work. To create a shader graph, we'll right click in our project window go to Create, Shader, Universal Render Pipeline, and we'll select Unlit Shader Graph. We can then give it a name and double click it, which will open it up in a Shader Graph window. Now the first thing that we'll do is we'll look at the Graph Inspector, and we'll set the Surface option to Transparent instead of Opaque. We then need to create a property of type Texture 2D, we can give it the name Main Texture, and then with this property selected in the Graph Inspector, we want to set the reference to underscore Main Text. This will set this main texture property to the texture that we're using with our sprite renderer. We can then drag this property into our shader graph and we'll apply its output to the input of a sample texture 2D. We then want to add a vertex color to our shader graph. So we can right click, select create node and we'll search for vertex color. This node will be set to the base color that we're using for our sprite renderer. And now we can multiply the output of these two nodes together. And so I'll drag the output of our vertex color and I'll search for multiply. And then we'll take the RGBA output from our sample texture and add it to the other input of our multiply node. We then want to take the output of this multiply node and apply it to our base color. And finally, we'll take the alpha channel of our sample texture 2D and connect it to the alpha of our shader. Now we can make sure that we save this shader, after which we'll need to create a new material. And using the shader dropdown menu, we'll select shader graph and then our new shader. And now with the eyes object selected, we can apply our new unlit material. Now if I play my game, and once my character transforms into the werewolf, I can pause my game and select my character object 
and it looks like in order to make the eyes visible, I'll have to reposition them so they're in front of my werewolf sprite. I can then adjust the color, so I'll make them green for now. And I'm going to go ahead and disable my character's point light. Then when I resume the game, you can see only the eyes of my werewolf walking around in the darkness. This is what I want the players to see when they're being chased by the monster, and the monster hasn't come into the light yet. And that's about it for getting parts of your 2D sprite to glow. Now I'm sure you could use other methods like particle effects, but sometimes with sprites you might have a part of your sprite that you want to glow that has a different shape and is in a circle like eyes. And I'll probably show you that in a future video. But if you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and subscribe to my channel so you can be up to date with all my latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.